So now the solution is D number, okay? This is D number solution. Here is here x plus root 3y is equal to 4. Okay, here this is 4. Now, now compare it with compare it with ax plus by plus c is equal to 0 compare it with x plus y plus c is equal to 0 so when we compare this now what we get here we get a is equal to we get here nothing a x is there so x x there is nothing is 1 b is equal to here is in place of b there is root 3 and c is equal to here you can okay write this equation like this this is equal to now can be written as x plus root 3 y minus 4 is equal to 0 okay now this is of this form okay so this is now our equation 1 now when we compare with this we will get this x value 1 uh, sorry a, a value 1 b value root 3 and c is equal to minus 4 now find the root under a square plus b square so a square means 1 square plus b square means this is root 3 over a square is equal to 1 square is 1 plus root 3 square is 3 so this is equal to 4 and this value is 2 ok now now rewrite this equation ok in the form like this now write this equation now this equation here x plus root 3 y is equal to 4 yes this is equal to 4 now divide 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 both sides cut la bata divide santambu divide both sides by 2 when we divide both sides by 2 this will be how much x by 2 plus root 3 y by 2 is equal to 4 by 2 and this equation can be written as x into 1 by 2 plus y into root 3 by 2 is equal to 4 divided by 2 is 2 Okay, now this is x cos alpha plus y sin alpha is equal to p. So compare this equation, okay, compare. Compare it with x cos alpha plus y sin alpha is equal to p. Now compare it with x cos alpha plus y sin alpha is equal to p. Now, when we compare this, compare it with this much, okay? Now, when we compare this, this x axiom, so cos alpha is equal to, okay, what is it? Cos alpha is equal to 1 by 2 and sin alpha is equal to root 3 by 2. Okay? I will not write it here. I will write in the same then, okay? Comma. sin alpha is equal to root 3 by 2 and p is equal to here is p is equal to 2 now since since cos alpha and sin alpha both are positive both are positive positive the the angle alpha lies in what first quadrant first q u a d r a n t first quadrant first quadrant means see there c a s t cast here in first quadrant so in first quadrant you can write this is cos alpha is equal to 1 by 2 and this is sin alpha sin alpha is equal to root 3 by 2 
now you can write this cos alpha means this is cos alpha this is 1 by 2 value will be given at cos 60 degree and sin alpha root 3 by 2 will be what sin root 3 by 2 is in which sin 60 degree okay therefore now you can write it therefore now this equation can be written as x cos 60 degree plus y sin 60 degree sin 60 degree is equal to this two okay is the required equation in in perpendicular form you can write it okay it's required equation in perpendicular form is required equation in perpendicular form now here you can write here therefore uh, actually okay now compare it okay and find the p what is p so p is equal to perpendicular is this two and alpha value you can see alpha this is cos alpha 60 sorry alpha 60 alpha 60 okay so this is 60 degree okay let me check this so four number answer d number x cos 60 degree plus y sin 60 degree equal to two okay this is correct answer <coughs> so this is okay this uh, y the solution for d number now i will move to e number